Guess who it is? Bobby Ray in studio, B.O.B. What's happening? Yes. It's 107.5 KZL. How you feeling? Feeling good, man. We got our uh, we got our audience out here for the studio. That's right. Amazing. Got a lot of fans excited here. to amp. That's right. You're from Winston Salem, anyway. Yeah. Born yeah. there. Yep. How long were you there? Not very long. Uh, about two years. Right. You know, I was uh after two years, I I, I decided to go out and take on the world. You know what I'm saying? Like, you have I, to. I got an early start. How do I do that? As a matter of <laughs> fact. What's the craziest question you were ever asked in any interview? The craziest thing anybody's ever asked you? Oh man. And maybe um, you didn't even answer it. They asked me how long was it? No. Yeah. <laughs> and you didn't answer that, I did you? Answer that. You can't answer that. I mean they don't have a metric system there. <laughs> <laughs> no, you've worked with everybody. I mean you've worked with Eminem and Haley Williams from Paramore. Yeah. Who was your favorite person? I gotta ask you straight out. You gotta pick a favorite. Uh huh. Favorite ever to work with. Favorite Artist. ever? Yeah, you gotta pick somebody. You gotta tell me somebody. Oh, man. Maybe on the new album, maybe on the uh, the other album. Um, Anything. I, I'll say I'll say on this album, my favorite uh, collaboration would probably be the uh, the 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 song Arena with Chris right. Brown and Ti. Right. How was that? Yeah, that was amazing. I mean, it started out as a piano riff. Yeah. Um, and you play piano. Yeah. You play guitar. You play yeah. pretty much everything. Yeah. 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 And uh, you know, it kind of um, actually actually wrote it and it started. Man, by fifth, you know, you hear it. May first right. when it comes out. Did you have them in mind for the song? Or you just wrote it and didn't. Well, know? well, it's crazy how it happened. I actually did have um, Tip in mind for for um, for Arena, but mm -hmm. it happened when I, I was. And you know, I was bouncing around to to different studios to get this the piano. You know, you gotta get the right piano. I'm just real picky. The right sound. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. So I I ended up in the same studio that Chris Brown's in, and I went and played him some of the album, and I actually played him another song first, and he was like, uh, well, that's all right. Yeah. So so I was like, all right, well, I'm just gonna play my album and see what you think. So I played him the album, and the first song I played was Arena. He was like, that's it. That I was good on that one. Like, why, why didn't you play that first? Anybody, <laughs> I was like, who? Anybody hard, to, difficult to work with, like, that you've worked with before, but they were kind of more difficult to work with than you thought? Um, well, you know, everybody's different. You know, yeah. like, some people want a lot of people in the studio. Some people don't right. want... They don't even want to be in the studio. <laughs> Anybody hard to deal with at all? Uh, no, everybody's pretty. I, you know, I found through my years of collaborating, you know, everybody's been pretty. If if they're even willing to collaborate, then they're pretty, you know, right. on board. You know, for the. For how the is Shady? Was he? How is he really like? We just see one side of him. How how is he really? <laughs> no, man. In the studio, he's mic. very he's very productive in the studio. Like, um, like it's kind of crazy because like you know when they're recording, they. If they hit record and you come in, just, everything's recording, and you just kind of whatever you make, you kind of go back and listen to it and then see if it's something good enough to revisit. You know what right. I mean? So um, you know, it, it kind of taught me how to just kind of roll, roll with it, just make whatever you make, and you can edit it later. Everybody doesn't have to hear it <laughs> if it <laughs> comes out bad. Let's talk about the new album, Strange Clouds, coming out Tuesday. Man, this is like, I've been waiting for this. You know how long I've been waiting for this Tuesday? It's been a long time, right? <laughs> waiting forever for this Tuesday. What took so long? Hey, man, you know, I was trying to make a phenomenal album, so. We've been waiting. All these people <laughs> here have been waiting, you know? I know they've been waiting. I'm, I'm waiting, too. How do you celebrate the day it comes out? Do you just sit back and watch the um, movie? I mean, the name of the album is do? Strange Clouds, you know, so, you know, I kind of just, you know. Is there a big party? I kind of let, let the clouds down? present themselves. I'm actually doing an um, uh, um, album release party in Atlanta. Well, actually, New York and Atlanta. Right. You know, um, got to do it. Got to do the home. Now, who's going to be there for this party? This uh, is Tuesday. This 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 Wednesday actually. Okay. The one in New York is Tuesday. The okay. one in Atlanta is Wednesday. And I mean, it's just going to be crazy. It's a nonstop like, party. Nonstop. Week. Nonstop party. Whole week. Whole the whole week will be May first. How much pressure <laughs> is on you to top the last album? Because all those Grammy nominations. You know, I never really felt. I never really felt a lot of pressure, you know. Actually, well, I'm the type of person I work well under pressure. Right. So, when it comes to pressure, it's like a, a necessary fuel that I need. So to, you feel the pressure because the first album was so big, it was huge, you know, all those hits. And, and I now, felt, yeah, and I felt more. I felt more actually. Um, I felt more prepared for this album. Right. To to deliver this type of album because you know I just. Why is that? Just experience? Yeah, experience, and then, you know, I have a lot more to talk about, you know, just from what I've seen, you know, and just around the world, the things that have influenced my music and, and seeing how people party and what people, you know, how people live, like, you know, it's just crazy. Right. And, and I took all that in the studio and made this album. 
That's right, the brand new B.O.B. album coming out next Tuesday, 107.5 KZL right now. Now, would you ever consider dating a Kardashian? Um, no. Just, I, to change I it up not. a little bit, you would not? I would not. No. And why is that? I just, I'm not into it. What kind of girls I mean, do you like? No no offense if anybody's into that. No. I'm just not into the whole... Well, some of these guys over here probably <laughs> have dated her. <laughs> she's like, yeah. I think she's over there, as a matter of fact. What kind of girls do you like? Um, I mean... Brian, it's just a wide open question. Hey, man, it's... I'm not, I'm not that, I'm not that picky. No. Okay. <laughs> All right. Now, what about this Summer Olympic thing that's coming up? Something big going on with you and the London Summer Olympics coming up this year, yes, right? Yes, What can I, you say about um, that? It's I, kind I of a secret, isn't it? I teamed up with, um, I teamed up with, with a, um, with Duracell mm -hmm. for an uh, uh, Olympic song. Oh, okay. With the band OAR. Right. And uh, we made a song in... And that will be revealed uh, very soon. It's not out yet. It's not out yet. When's it coming I out? I don't even know what I'm supposed to be talking about. But it. it's not on the new record. I, should, I, I shouldn't have brought that up, should I? Hey, man, hey, well, blame it on me. But I, I gave you the details first. All right, get the new album. It's coming out Tuesday, Strange Clouds, B.O.B.